What's going on with your peeps? How you doing? Listen, today we're at the property. There's a lot here uh, I want to update you guys on, but I think I'll shoot that in another video. Today, we're talking about radiant heat. All right, you saw my previous videos of me putting in the PEX for the radiant heat system, putting down two inch foam, PEX on top, got a manifold from uh, a company, it's called The Radiant Company. If you go to theradiantcompany.com, uh, you can check them out. Uh, so far I've been really impressed and really like what I've experienced with those guys. Um, you know, I haven't been sponsored by them or anything like that, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, maybe if they want to, that's fine. Feel free to reach out to my agent. No, I don't have one of those. Never mind, just, just email me directly at littleprincess at gmail.com. Um, anyway, what we're gonna do is now that we have the barn house up, the old barn dominium, it is up. It is, I'll give you a sneak peek. It is metallicized, okay? And so we're gonna be working on the radiant system, which I already started opening the box looking at all the little components and whatnot, water heater, all that goodness. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all together, solder some, some copper, crimp some pecs, do some plumbing business, all right? That's what we got going on here. So hopefully we can make some progress with that. And with that, let's get to it. All right, so this is what we're working with right here, okay? So far, we've just kind of temporarily mounted this system. The cool thing about it is this all comes prefabbed from the Radiant Company. Uh, company, um, And so all of it is super easy to identify, right? Cold in, supply from heat source, this side up, return to heat source, domestic water out. You know, everything is kind of returned from the floor to the floor, all that stuff. It's all kind of labeled and kind of set here. They give you a bunch of temperature gauges and pressure gauges and all that stuff, which I've kind of piled into there, um, to connect to this. And then you just have to, here's my um, gas line that's going to be powering the uh, tankless water heater, which also came uh, from them. Um, and so what we're going to do is basically, they also give you this nice little handy dandy um, book that's got all the anything you could ever ask for with instructions and everything we got an open system there are a couple types of different systems you got closed and you got open uh, single zone this is kind of what we're looking at right here single zone open system using an on-demand water heater basically what it means is that the same water that is running through your floor in through the PEX tubing and everything else is gonna come up through and go out to your domestic water and service your, your domestic potable water. And then, uh, and so it's one kind of one continuous loop of water. And so it's never stale or stagnant water that's, that's used in the floor. It's always fresh and new. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, otherwise you got the closed system, which is means that the floor is its own system. It's got its own heat source and it's got, it's all closed off. And then you got your domestic uh, water heat source uh, as well. So yeah, let's get into it and start putting together some stuff. All right. Maybe it doesn't go slow. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Let it go. Sure. Sure. All right, so letting the air out of the system first, obviously important, so we don't cut something and, or heat up some of the sweats or welds and then things go flying. Yeah, it's open, yeah. Flux. And this flex. Actually, yeah, I, I, I would like to different flex. I don't know. 
about this one anything is it good or not I don't know this one yeah Алик, ты не снимай, потому что я, я что не специалист. So first we take off all the caps, end caps for the system, and then we're gonna start putting it together. And this is the manifold system down here where all the PEX connects into. And this piece has to come off. It's just used to, it's just used to fill the system with air and have a pressure gauge on top. So this comes off and then that cap comes off on that end and then connects into the system. So we got a pressure gauge system connected to the main water line in, so we can control the amount of pressure that's coming into the system and into the house from the road. Side and inside. On both sides. Okay. Uh -huh. Do not stand. Okay. I agree with. Grab some cardboard, stick it down here on top of your pecs, so that way if any flux gets hot and drops, it doesn't drop on top of your pecs and burn it.
So that's what we gotta do. <clears throat> this thing is too, there's too much of a gap. We cannot connect this to the water heater. So probably gonna cut this, add a coupling, which should raise this up a little bit and should give us what we need. is not good too. <laughs> it's temporary screws. Temporary screws, it's fine. So we just need a T and then have part of it go to the cold in. Okay, so cold water in. We're gonna be tied to the wall like this. Loop around there, T off to connect to the domestic cold water. It goes straight to the house. And then domestic hot water is gonna come out and hot water coming down here and connect right there. And that is that. So I'm gonna end out this video for now. We haven't tested, we gotta still run the exhaust and um, air intake. It's all one piece, which is really cool. I'll have to show you guys in another video how that works, but that's it for now. Anyway, Y'all take it easy.